Hello, my name is Angela Kowalski. I am an academic advisor in our College of Health Sciences. I work with our students that are in healthcare administration, as well as anyone that might be undecided. Uh, we are happy you have taken the time to watch our video. As you will learn, the College of Health Sciences offers many majors that can lead to careers in healthcare. Today, myself and our academic advisors will cover them. Let's take a moment to meet our advisors. Hi, my name is Aggie Northrup. I'm an academic advisor for communication sciences and disorders and occupational studies and pre-occupational therapy. Hi, my name is Bill Miller. I'm academic advisor for our students in biomedical sciences, as well as some of our pre-professional students in pre-med and pre-pharmacy and pre-PA. Hello, my name is Tori Rufer. I advise kinesiology students and nutritional sciences students, as well as students interested in uh, pre-physical therapy, pre-athletic training, and pre-dietetics. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, now we're going to learn more about the college. I'm going to share our PowerPoint with you. The College of Health Sciences has about 2,000 students total, including 300 studying in our graduate programs. We offer the largest collection of health-related programs in the region. Many of our programs are nationally recognized and have achieved the highest accreditation awards possible. We have hundreds of community partners, in addition to our own clinics, where faculty and students interact with patients in educational settings. CHS graduates are highly sought after, far surpassing national averages for first attempts at national board exams and achieving close to 100% career placement. Let's hear more about these great majors. Um, the undergraduate majors that we have, you heard a little bit about already, but we're going to dive more into them. The first is biomedical sciences lab programs, biomedical sciences diagnostic imaging, nutritional sciences, kinesiology, occupational studies, communication sciences and disorders, and healthcare administration. Biomedical sciences lab programs get into more of uh, what students can be doing working in a medical lab facility. So a lot of what you see here as far as the occupation possibilities for you are going to be more lab based. Students who are into these types of occupations are ones that are really into chemistry, biology, and some of the more uh, healthcare based lab, lab technique classes. Um, students with these within this major and these sub majors of biomedical sciences lab programs are looking to also finish up uh, potentially an internship before they graduate from co college and that is uh, mandatory that they finish those uh, internships before they can graduate. The internships are given to them uh, as long as they qualify to get to that point. The imaging sub-majors get more into more direct patient care. So folks in this uh, in these fields will work with patients directly and many times they're taking images of them to diagnose a condition. So this is going to be a little bit more direct patient care where the lab programs were indirect patient care. Uh, the imaging field requires that you complete anatomy, physiology, chemistry, physics, and have those types of lab science backgrounds and be quite good. Uh, the imaging sub-majors also offer mandatory two-year clinical rotations for students. Those are competitive admission processes, so we do have more students typically applying than we do have spots for them. All right, next up is our nutritional sciences major. So as I give you a little introduction about the major, you can kind of see on the screen some potential uh, careers. And then you'll notice that the asterisk means you would need a advanced degree. So to the major itself, the nutritional sciences degree program provides students with a strong foundation in science in order to understand the relationships among food, nutrients, eating behavior, and human health. As part of this program, students uh, will explore why we make the food choices we do and learn to help others modify their diet and eating behavior. Students will build on their foundation courses to study food and nutrition issues within various population groups throughout the life cycle on a spectrum from disease treatment to disease prevention to health promotion. So most of these careers are things you can do after our bachelor's degree, but if you do want to become a registered dietitian as a career goal, that would be something that will require a master's degree of you after your bachelor's degree. For kinesiology, um, again, you'll see the careers up here as I'm talking with many of them um, requiring advanced um, degree or certification. Um, so you'll see uh, that asterisk uh, on those careers again. So the kinesiology program offers you an opportunity to be future health and fitness providers using preventative and rehabilitative in intervention techniques in commercial health and fitness clubs, community fitness centers, corporate and industrial fitness facilities 
and clinical agencies with specialization in cardiac and pulmonary rehabilitation. Many careers, um, as you see on the list, uh, do require a graduate degree for practice, such as a master's or a doctorate degree. The kinesiology degree can be tailored to prepare students who are seeking uh, those specialized future careers, um, including physical therapy, athletic training, exercise, physiology, I also work with many pre-chiropractic students. Um, so many students will choose to pursue this track and prepare um, for the medical field, maybe a master's in nursing or a physician assistant after their bachelor's degree as well. Occupational studies is the study of uh, anybody who has a disability, born with a disability or um, occurred a disability through a traumatic accident or life experience. As you can see on the screen here, these are the, d the different jobs that you can get with your bachelor's of science in occupational studies. Occupational therapy is a master's program that requires you to have a two-year degree beyond your undergrad. You will be taking courses in your undergraduate program for biology, physics, and then a bulk of the program is centered around occupational therapy. There are three tracks within the program that allow students to pick an area of interest that they want to follow. Those three tracks are occupation disability, which is going to lead to an occupational therapy master's degree, recreational therapy, as well as assistive technology. Communication sciences and disorders is the study of speech language pathology. So students in this program are interested in working with anyone who has a communicative disorder and you do need an advanced degree to be an audiologist as well as a speech language pathologist. This undergraduate degree is required in order to apply to those advanced degrees. And in the program, it's designed to really prepare students for that next level. So while you are taking courses in communication sciences and disorders, you are also going to be taking courses in physics as well as anatomy and physiology. And lastly, we have healthcare administration. Healthcare administrators take on the business roles within the healthcare setting. Examples of potential responsibilities include establishing and implementing the poli policies and objectives of a specific clinical area or department within a facility, training and evaluating personnel, developing reports and budgets, and coordinating activities with other managers. With experience in an advanced degree, healthcare administrators may move into ma management positions. Uh, the nice thing about healthcare administration is that there's a business minor built right into it, and you also have the ability to add on a healthcare informatics certificate as well. All right, so we have heard a lot about our awesome majors. Now we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what the Office of Student Affairs can do more specifically to you as a student. You are advised by your major. Uh, we had the privilege today of hearing from each of the advisors for their major. We are the professionals when it comes to your major. Uh, we work a lot with our other staff and department leads that are part of the subjects that you are studying, the majors that you are studying. So we're very well uh, educated in that and willing to work with you for any questions that you might have. Uh, we'll help you explore your academic and career interests. We'll plan the sequence of your courses. We'll prepare for a course enrollment uh, so you'll be ready to go knowing that you have the right classes you need. We'll help you access tutoring and other academic support, identify opportunities for campus involvement. Each one of our majors has some sort of professional group that you can be a part of, uh, which is great for you as an undergraduate as it prepares you for graduate school or working. It looks great on a resume and you also get to interact with other students that may be grades higher than you or levels higher than you, than you are right now. And you can learn from them and you can hear, you know, their success stories, things they wish they would have done different at an early age. Connect you to campus resources, and most importantly, plan for graduation, and then thereafter. As you heard, a lot of our majors have some sort of graduate degree or professional degree that can go along with them, uh, and we're gonna help you with that. So, our contact information. Here is everyone you have just heard from. You can reach out to us via email. You can also reach out to us by calling 414-229-2758. Again, that's 414-229-2758. Someone will answer the phone or at least listen to the voicemail and get it into the correct hand. So I'm just gonna leave this slide up for a second. That way you can see all of our contact information. And again, the different majors that we are in charge of 
and we will help you with as you make those steps towards planning for what you want to do. All right. Well, with that, we want to thank you again for taking time to listen to our video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Have a great day.